morning traders, Richard Chad doing quick Ichimoku Cloud Chart Market Review of the S&P 500 Index. We had a great little rebound uh, recently, about a 5% uh, or a 200 point move from this Cloud Chart support, loan, the support zone. Now this was the last uh, uh, update we were looking at this potential rebound from the support zone. And then the target was the first resistance level was this old Cloud Chart uh, resistance zone, uh, which was a support zone. And then uh, this zone, which is the standard line of the Ichimoku cloud, and that was the next uh, profit target zone. Uh, the S&P hit that level and then just gapped down when the inflation figures out, came out and then attempted to rebound from this uh, bottom in cloud chart support zone yesterday. So we'll be interested to see if we get a follow through of this. Uh, there's another swing trade from this level. We're back in at this level. So if the support holds, the first level to uh, resistance to get through is this bottom in cloud chart resistance zone here. It needs to get past that zone. And then this other cloud chart resistance zone. But ideally, we really want to see the SMP stay above this uh, cloud chart level for a potential rebound back up to the top end cloud chart resistance zone that whole area there but so far so good looks like support came in yesterday at this trade we got right in at this uh, bottom end cloud chart support level uh, the uh, first level of resistance is this 3979 and then this 4023 and then 4076 again and then back to the standard line that resistance level so that's the upside potential if this swing trade works out if support fails at this level we back down below the cloud that'll change the outlook from bullish to bearish any price action below the bottom end of the cloud is bearish from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective and then the levels to watch out for is this um, bottom end cloud chart support level of 3847 as well as this cluster of support yeah uh, these lows yeah let's take those support zones there now interestingly if we're going to look at the four, uh, four hour chart give a bit more feeling what's happening in today now the four hour chart is actually still in bearish territory I just need more data to load there hold on there we go because price action is below the cloud so any kind of swing trade on the four hours contrarian trades because uh, you know we are trading in a bearish outlook on the four hour but needless to say note how the resistance zones of the bottom end of the cloud here on the four hour remained in place and then the market gap down uh, when the resistance became too much and the inflation figures kind of drove that lower. Now we're back retesting these lows of 3907, 3908. You can see there the market's trying to find support there. Now if this support holds, then we're going back up to the bottom in the cloud. Yeah, the front in the cloud is the resistance level to watch out for, as well as this standard line of the cloud. That's also the next target now. So these are the two upside targets. Bottom in the cloud and then 4044 if this, if this rebound is successful and then... If it breaks past 4044, then this top end of the front end of the cloud is the next key resistance zone to look out for on the 4 hour. So that's the swing trade there with the upside potential there. Now, if support fails here, the other downside risk would be a retest of this low there. And then the other the downside risk levels would be the bottom end of this old cloud chart support level which is now still an old uh, you know we look back at the we call the cloud chart shadow supports where you look at previous support zones if they'll come into play when the market's rolling over and when we're in bearish territory so if support fails here yeah, we could hit this uh, 3847 and 3825 this bottom in cloud chart support zone so those are the two support zones to watch out for on the four hour Ichimoku cloud together with the 303805. Uh, so that's the downside risk if support fails at this 39 zone on the uh, four hour. Turning to the hourly gives you a bit more feeling what's happening intraday. A nice little rebound rally broke through the bottom end cloud chart resistance, broke through the top end cloud chart resistance. Then it's back into bullish territory because price action is above the cloud. Only to run into trouble is 4108 a resistance zone. Then the huge back gap back down, sliced through the bottom in the cloud, back in bearish territory on the uh, on the hourly one. Quite choppy trade. But now if this if this rebound lasts, yeah, 3907, we should easily get back to this bottom end cloud chart resistance zone. So those levels to watch out for is the uh, 
3,975 and then that level of 4,003, 4,000 basically. That's the upside potential on this one. If we break past that level on the hourly, then the top end of the cloud here, 4,044 and then that peak there is the next key resistance zone. Um, on the uh, four hour uh, on the hourly chart let's just take a really big picture perspective here looking at the weekly now sorry there's too many lines on here because we've done all our analysis on the intraday and the other time frames but you can see price action still below the cloud that's bearish there's a couple of beautiful sell signals up here the four four thousand five hundred and fifty zone long term so we are trading uh, swing trades in an overall bearish uh, scenario on the on the uh, weekly chimoko and you can see the front end cloud chart resistance levels there four two two seven a major zone as well as this bottom end cloud chart level there as uh, four oh double two so those are the level key levels for the market to kind of get through together with the standing line of the uh, cloud on the weekly now if we zoom in one step further looking at the monthly price action is a little bit extended from the cloud still so there's still some significant downside risk now there's really a really long uh, a really risky downside target support target of 3500 uh, that's on the front end of the cloud yeah we just 3505 i think we just look. yeah yeah so I'll middle delete that line and then you can see this zone here. That's the front end cloud chart support target. If this correction keeps going, uh, the SP could quite easily get back down to three and a half thousand uh, over the next couple of months. But that's a big picture monthly uh, Ichimoku cloud. Uh, as you can see, we've had a tremendous rally all the way up. Uh, for a couple of very long bull markets since the cloud crossed back here in, in 2010. Huge rally, got extended, climatic top, wide price action, and then eventually we had a, a you know, intro, the weekly and daily sell signals were all up there above the four and a half thousand uh, level. So uh, the market is consolidating, it needs to, to, to come back and, and digest all these gains. Right, so, but just back to the daily, what we're looking for here is. Um, is is a continuation of the support rebound at this bottom end would be great if we get a MACD buy signal or any of the other technical indicators on top of that but so far we are swing trading this support zone but if support fails here then we'll have to reverse our view and go short uh, with these downside risk targets until next time happy cloud chart trading bye for now